What's going on everybody? Got another senior bat review for you guys and this time we have the Easton Empire Mario Foster. Um, Richard Clem, I, I talked to him, he was one that kind of said, hey man, you need to try this bat out. Um, so me and Chad are going to be out here, we're going to try it out. It's a one piece Easton, so you ain't got to worry about the connection piece with some flex. But uh, I've heard a lot of hype about this bat, so we're ready to try this thing out. And uh, before we do that, we're going to test it. And guys, at the end, we'll let you know what we think of it. Alright guys, to test the Easton Empire. Mario Foster, 1450, 1450 is like 220, 219 basically, yep. Okay, guys, the Easton Empire Mario Foster Signature Bat it is a one piece bat that you can order in sizes of 25, 26, and 27 ounces. Um, this features a 13 inch barrel, and this is a mother load. So, mother load basically means in the Easton terms that it's a one ounce, full one ounce end load. And this is their triple wall design or triple wall technology. Alright guys, I'm going to scale the Eastern Empire. We have a 27 ounce. Comes in at 26 even. Let's see if we can get this here. 16.7 on the end. Eight, nine on the hands and that is with the factory grip. Stay that was you. You see how it curved oh, back?
What was that? 101. 96 miles per hour. Uh -huh. I can hear it pretty from this side of the fence. Okay, the field we were at this time was at uh, Salem Middle School in Apex, North Carolina. It's a 290 foot fence all the way around, probably about a seven to eight foot tall fence. Um, guys, we were using our Evil BP rockets, our Short Porch Pro M's, and our Short Porch uh, Freedom Balls. I'll have links down below with discount codes for both of these balls to help you guys save some money. That barrel through the zone right Nice. God, that is such a good snap, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. He, he tried to catch that with his hat and almost ripped his hat oh, off. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Somebody needs to tell him they're coming in and like... Look at that. That was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah. You couldn't have swung better. Yep. Great. Great. Top hand off. Dude. Fuck a home run. Fuck a home run when you cut it like that. <laughs> well, you suck at two sports. Can you kick, make a field goal? Well, I'll bet my arm back. Last week, I never missed you, champ. It's fast fucking ridiculous, dude. That was a freedom ball. Right, this feels better. Ninety-six miles per hour. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna do the final testing on the Eastern Empire. That dropped down to 1,200, I believe, yeah. Holy cow, dude, that's like 160, 161 on my tester. So she dropped down a lot, so uh, there you go. Okay, guys, you saw us just finish up swinging the Easton Empire Mario Foster signature bat. Um, first things first, let's go to waiting like we always do. 16.7 on the end, 8.9 on the hands. Um, this is supposed to be a full mother load, um, and it does. Feels like a full one ounce in load. It's got some butt in this bat. I don't think it's one of the heaviest out there, but it's definitely got some butt to this thing. Um, as far as sweet spot, it's a 13 inch barrel, and it's got a huge sweet spot. And you saw where it started out on compression um, in the wrap around 205, 210, and we put only 130 swings on this, and it dropped down to like 160. Um, one thing I will say is I reached out to Mario Foster and I said, hey, what's the difference between this and the previous year? I don't know if you guys remember, but it was a, a red kind of burgundy looking one. And um, he said they kept the same triple wall design, um, kept the same end load on it. But he said the one thing they tried to do different was soften the barrel up and make it faster to break in and still hold durability. So um, kind of like what they did with the tantrum. So I'm not saying this is a tantrum, but I'm just saying that's kind of what they did with some of the newer tech this year from Easton. Um, Chad is a big Easton lover and he always has been. So as soon as we got this Batman, I let him hit it first and he was like lights out. I mean, he absolutely loved this thing. He loved how it was where there wasn't a lot of flex in here, but it was such a big sweet spot and the barrel was so soft. you never got any feedback on your hands. Um, that's what I like. I like the stiffer handle and stuff. Um, for me, per I probably would have preferred a 26 because I've changed my grip. I've gone to more of an overlap grip. And I feel like it's, I don't know if I'm not snapping it fast enough or not, but at first I struggled a little bit with it. But man, at the end, I was feeling it. I, mean, I was really liking this bat. Um, but like, guys, big sweet spot, big end load on this thing, stiffer handle, but not too stiff where you get feedback and you can absolutely drive the ball with this thing. Um, guys, you can pick these up over at Smash It Sports. I'll put a link down below with my discount code to save yourself some money. But go down there and pick you one up if you want. But guys, this is one of the top tier one-piece bats we've swung this year. No doubt. It this would definitely make my top five. 
But uh, hey, take a look at them, guys. But uh, I guess that's it, guys. Until next time, keep hitting it. And hey, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We'll talk to you later.